Jim here, welcome back to the channel. Creating interesting and informative content for the thinking diver. Today is part two of the Buddy Check Buddy Systems video. So last time was the Buddy Check. This time is more about the Buddy System in operation, right from the shore to the end of the dive. There's some things that probably be a good review for some of you out there. And then at the end, there are some really weird uh, buddy systems from here in Asia, maybe just here in Japan, but I suspect Asia as well. Like to hear your comments on that as well. Okay, stay tuned. The buddy system starts right before the entry, actually, right? So I, I want, especially when I'm teaching open water, I want the, the buddies to get into the idea that, you know, helping each other walk down the beach, um, enter the water if there's you know wavy conditions or or we have places where uh there the bottom has a lot of like it's just boulders right and so you're walking your your feet can go between the boulders or you can kind of trip and if there's a little bit of wave chopping and you really can't see into the water it's really easy to fall over and of course in those situations it should be mask on regulator in bc partially inflated but also you know be there for your buddy um does not happen often. I've heard of some freaky stories, people drowning in knee deep water. You know, doesn't happen often, but it can happen, especially if you got heavy gear on your back. You know, when I've had my doubles on, you know, 18 liter steel doubles, really heavy in a stage tank <laughs> at, at that side, I've always wondered what would happen if I fell on my face. I don't know how quickly my body would be able to get it off me, but I would have had my regulator in my mouth. So, so on the entry, Buddy system starts before the entry. Walk into the entry, especially if it's if it's an unsteady thing. You got waves. You got unsteady surface. Same thing on the exit. Right. I know there's a story. I I, I was right there. Uh, there was a married couple coming in through some waves, and you know the husband kind of got away from from uh, his buddy. The wife happened to be, and turned out she had a tough time in the waves and almost you know was was having a a tough time she was getting knocked around by those waves she had to be kind of soft rescued by by the other another buddy so entry and exit don't let that buddy system fall apart now during the dive distance from your buddy is is kind of an interesting variable usually people let that be influenced by the visibility which is interesting uh, i can see on the one hand uh, your your you know if the visibility is very small you know a few meters you know, you want to be close for sure because of losing visually your buddy, that p possible potential. However, in the case of an equipment failure, you know, an out of air, uh, sometimes I see if, if there's 40 meters of visibility and if you're 20 meters from your buddy, that's going to be a really <laughs> awkward run if, uh, if someone ran out of, of air um, or you're not close enough to... to detect and cut off other problems right if you're that far away so uh don't be fooled by good visibility just because you can see your buddy doesn't mean you can get there in time to do something just a, another touch generally speaking you want to be easy for your buddy to see right you want to be easy for your buddy to see so generally that means side by side but you know once in a while a buddy will get back or forth um, a really annoying thing is is for the rear buddy to be in a position where the front buddy cannot see that buddy easily. That's a very difficult position to be in. Also, buddies that are at significantly different depths can be really uh, annoying people to dive with because then you're looking up, you don't know where this buddy is. And again, it's, it's like top gun fighter, right? Um, so make sure that you're, you're easily spotable. Photographers are notoriously uh, poor buddies because they're focused on, on, uh, on, photographing so uh my recommendation you know if i had what, what i try and do if i'm not if i don't have a pressing mission i might become like the finder you know i'll find stuff for the person to photograph if there aren't a lot of creatures very obviously around so that's kind of a nice symbiosis you can have with a photographer a buddy um otherwise you know better have those priorities ironed out before the dive which is why a lot of serious serious photographers are solo divers uh, here, we, we have a fair bit of wall diving. If there's a wall here, and I have two side-by-side -side divers, this diver is getting a nice view of the wall. This diver's like, 
good grief, you see anything over there? I don't see anything, right? So wall diving really shouldn't be side by side, right? It should be front and back. So both divers, you know, are arm distance from the wall. They have a good view. And of course, the rear diver can see the diver in front easily. Now, the diver in front, you know, I'm sure you can guess, but how, how's that diver? If the diver's in the proper position, how's that diver going to check the diver in the rear? Well, actually, the diver's going to look underneath themselves in the prone position. So sorry, Scuba Steve. Ouch, that looks painful. Sorry, Scuba Steve. Right, Scuba Steve's going to look down uh, below his belly and through his legs and check uh, the diver to his rear that way. That way, you know, you don't have to be breaking trim to be looking around, right, or getting vertical and looking around. You're just keep in your, your stance, look down below. All right, if you've made it this far, now you're going to hear a very quick uh, note about uh, diving here. Now here in, in Japan, I think Asia in general, but definitely here in Japan, we have some different procedures and they're generally built around the idea of group diving as opposed to buddy diving. And I think some of the standards here for Naoi and Paddy were written differently. So Paddy Japan and Naoi Japan are like different entities that used to have their own textbooks. Certainly the textbooks are translated and there are some differences there. So for example, uh, there are plenty of places here years ago, and maybe buddy diving is becoming more common now, but plenty of places where your buddy is the instructor, even if you're diving with 10 other people. So you have an instructor and let's say eight divers, an instructor and eight divers, and those divers aren't really, they don't have a buddy. They're just like all cows or sheep following the instructor and uh so there's no there's no real buddy and so one time i was uh, at a dive site and we're we're, you know, we're always practicing buddy diving and what i tell folks is look you know in fact you could look at my my briefing video it's it's a good one here's the briefing here's the dive site here's what to do here's what not to do here's what you can see Here's the entry, here's the exit. Here's how I'm going to go through this uh, system. And you are welcome to follow me or create your own way through this system safely uh, within the parameters of depth and time and whatnot. And see you, see you later. And, oh, and I said, you know, if you're following me because, you know, there's nothing unusual at this site, no, no, you know, nothing going on. If you're a buddy pair and you get separated, well, enjoy your dive. I'll see you later. Or if you're uncomfortable, you know, go ahead, surface together and swim it on in. We were at a site. Uh, I, I didn't know at the time, but there it was really predominantly a group diving situation. And one of the pairs of my divers got separated from the main group. But again, do your dive, right? You're two certified divers. Um, and they encountered a group. And the instructor in that group looked at them as like, hey, where's where's your instructor? Somehow he was he was asking them that underwater. And they were like, I don't know. And he said, come here, he grabbed them, go up. And I, I, I feel bad for his group. He took his whole group up to, to grab my two divers and surface them. And he essentially ruined the dive, ended the dive of all of his divers who were paying for a very expensive dive uh, at that place. And then he came in and he was you know, hollering at me. It was, you know, I had the translator there. It was this great big argument. It was a, <laughs> it was a really ugly situation. Um, and uh, yeah, so that after that I knew, well, that's how we dive, you know, the whole world, you know, it's a buddy system. So at least this one other site that I dive, maybe others, where they go one step beyond. So whenever I used to rent equipment there, this was Oshima, beautiful place. Um, whenever I used to rent equipment there, the regulators only come with one second stage. And the first time I was like, hey, well, what's the deal here? And he says, oh, well, it's a group dive. And if anybody who need, anybody who would run out of air, they come to me, the instructor, to, for I have a second stage. And I was just, you know, asking the obvious question, well, what if two, <laughs> what if two divers went out of air, what would you do? Yeah, I don't remember the answer. 
Um, so whenever I went to there, you know, I if I was renting gear, I would bring extra second stages to put onto those rental regulators. Um, yeah, very unusual situation. So the group diving thing here in Japan uh, can be a thing. I think it's still a thing someplace. Let me know your experience. Are there places in the world that, that group diving exists? Are there other strange uh, buddy situations? Let me know. That was everything I wanted to uh, have a look at. Thanks a lot. If you got some value out of the video, please go ahead and pound a like. It helps the activity of the video and I'd appreciate it. And if you want to comment, comment on uh, what's going on in your part of the world with, with the buddy system. Alrighty, and last, the channel now has Patreon. So if anybody wants to uh, be a patron of the channel and support the channel in that way, please have a look. There's a link there. There are some different levels. Anybody wants to do it, I'm of course very appreciative. If not, I appreciate you lasting this long. I'm sure you are a very rare soul and I appreciate you coming by. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the beach.